106 people are now confirmed dead after the wildfire on Maui. Yeah, officials have started the grim task of identifying victims and notifying families. Eyewitness News reporter Irene Cruz here in studio with the latest. Irene. Hi, John, Rachel, Leslie. Those wildfires still continue to burn, and that death toll continues to go up as well, sadly. Now, two victims have been named. Three other victims have been identified. Their names have not yet been released. Maui County says the upcountry fire is now 75% contained. Lahaina is 85% contained. Power has been restored to most of the people who lost power in West Maui. All six emergency shelters now have internet. If you have family or friends there, officials say text is better for communicating rather than phone calls right now. There's still an unsafe water advisory in place and boiling water does not make it safe. Federal officials sent a mobile morgue with coroners, pathologists and technicians to Hawaii to help identify the dead. The first two victims identified are Lahaina residents, 74 year old Robert Dykeman and 79 year old Buddy Jantok. We now have 185 search and rescue individuals on the ground plus 20 dogs. So we're going to push through the recovery much more quickly now. Hopefully by the end of this weekend, much of it will be done. These wildfires are already the deadliest in U.S. history in more than a century. And now there is a new complicating factor. Storms with rain and high winds were forecast for this weekend. Right now, officials are thinking about powering down temporarily since the infrastructure will be weaker. Rachel, over to you. Okay, Irene, thank you. And tomorrow, watch the Maui Strong special event on Good Morning America. The one-hour live event will spotlight the Maui community with a call to action to raise money for recovery efforts. Again, that is tomorrow on GMA. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.